Hello dear students. Welcome back to Social Science Plus. Today's topic for discussion is Conservation of Resources. Under this topic, we will discuss about the definition of conservation, sustainable development and different ways of conserving resources. So let's begin with the definition. How can we define conservation? Conservation means using the available resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed. Now let's understand this definition with the help of example. At your home, how many times you switch off the lights when they are not in use? How many times you switch off the fan when that is not in use? There is a lot of sunlight in the daytime and there is a lot of light in your room and then also you switch on the light. Is it the conservation? No. So we need to conserve. Suppose if you have to go nearby your home and every time whenever you are going, you use a vehicle and spend petroling that. Is that a conservation? No. So we have to use these resources carefully. And this is what is the conservation. We not only have to conserve the non-renewable resources, we have to be careful about the renewable resources as well. Say for example trees. Trees are the best example of renewable resources. But what will happen? If we start cutting trees indiscriminately, thinking that it is a renewable resource. No. We have to limit the use of these resources. So that as we are using, their availability is not affected. Okay. Second thing. Sustainable development. Sustainable development means what? It means that the judicious use of resources, judicious means careful, the careful use of resources in the present and as well as conserving them for the future. Let's understand what does it mean. It means that it should not happen that the resources which are available to us, we use all the resources at present. We should not consume all the resources at present. We use the resources in such a way that all the present needs are fulfilled. And also resources are left out for the future generation. Let's understand with few examples. Mineral oil, which is drawn out from inside the earth. Suppose if we make a plan to draw out all the mineral because the prices are increasing and there is shortage. Then what will happen? All the mineral oil we will draw out. At present, we will use them in a more amount. But what will happen in the future? Future generation will again come on the pull of cards. Not only this, there are some negative impacts also on this. What are the negative impacts? Negative impacts will be that our environment will totally get polluted and it will affect not only human beings even the whole biodiversity all forms of life so the purpose of the sustainable development is not only to conserve the resources saving them for future also and also keeping in mind the environment not to pollute them and keeping it safe for present as well as for future there are number of ways by which we can conserve our resources. Let's discuss some of the steps to conserve resources. First, reuse processed goods like empty bottles, cans, old clothes, etc. Second, recycling of waste material like polythene bags, bottles, cans, furniture, etc. Third, Reduce misuse or wastage of paper because manufacturing of papers involves lot of cutting of trees. If we save the paper, it means we are saving trees. We should stop unnecessary use of electricity, water, etc. And last of all, use of public transport as much possible. We all the time should not use the private vehicles. We Wherever possible, we should avoid the use of private vehicles. So that's all in today's lesson. 
थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे